Hello, Jared. Hello. Welcome to Chop Monkey Toaster Roofs. Thank you very much. Very pleased to be here. What have you got today? I brought beer. Is it beer? It is beer, yeah. This is beer for January. Particularly for those of you who want to observe dry January. So, this one is a non alcoholic IPA. Mm. Um, I did a little bit of research, had a bit of a look around on the old uh, interweb. Something like that, yes. <clears throat> and uh, come up with a few beers, and uh, this one seems to be uh, quite uh, popular. Okay. So it's uh, called Playground. It's by Van der Streek, uh, a Dutch brewery. Started in 2010, a couple of guys, home brewing initially, uh, and gradually sort of expanded. They do yeah. obviously alcoholic beers as well. Uh, but this has had some good sort of reports. So, yeah, non alcoholic, less than 0.5 ABV. You mm -hmm. know all about that, don't you? Right, a little bit. Good, good yeah. thanks. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it uh, has to be under 0.5 uh, in the UK to be considered non-alcoholic, which this one is. Uh, and hopefully it's still got some of the you know attributes in beer that we all love. Should be interesting. So I'm going to crack her open and see what we got. We haven't had anything from Van der Street before. No, we have not. Oh, so <clears throat> I've not even heard of them before. No. Uh, what other, do you know what other beers I do? Uh, well, they do alcoholic beers. I think they do the normal sort of range of, you know, uh, <coughs> IPAs and uh, stout and stuff. It looks just like a really cool branding that they got on the bottle, though. Um, so, yeah, it's just going to be really interesting to see what this is like. Mm -hmm. um, my experience of non-alcoholic beers in the past is limited. <laughs> yeah. I'm, and I'm, uh, I'm impressed. I can't remember having many. Mm. Anyway, cheers. Cheers. Let's get a sniff and a taste. Hazy, isn't it? <clears throat> it is a bit hazy, yeah. Mm. Smells of beer. Definitely smells beery. <clears throat> smells quite sort of hoppy and quite malty. Yeah, both at the same time. I need a taste. Mm. Do you know when we're um, brewing? Mm. That tastes like a, a young beer, doesn't it? It does. Do you think? It does, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If somebody gave you that and told you it was beer, yeah, you'd sort of believe them, wouldn't you? You'd believe them. Yeah. Yeah. And you'd think but it was probably alcoholic of some Yeah, you'd, be, you'd definitely believe that that's probably a 4 or 5% beer. Mm. So it's definitely beery. You get a good full, yeah. <clears throat> full body, full mouth feel, like it is a proper, mm. maybe a proper big beer even. But, um... What don't you like about it? Is it the fact that you know it's not alcoholic? You should have told me then, should you? I shouldn't have. I think there's so, still some sweetness from the malt still in there, do you think? Yeah, probably. I think that's what it is, because <clears throat> that's why it tastes like a young, a, a young beer. I mean, to some people's palate, that might, might, might be really, really, really nice, but... And I guess you'd um, have to have the, perhaps that... It must be tricky to maintain that sort of flavour. Yeah. Um, because if you obviously ferment the, the sugar, you'll turn it into alcohol. So maybe that's where that's... Yeah, I, wonder, I wonder what that is. Yeah, I wonder if that is... But I think that, that is... Sense, <clears throat> you know, if somebody gave me that, uh, I'd probably sort of drink that quite acceptably as a beer. Um, and the fact that it is non-alcoholic, if you want to observe dry January, then this would be a good option, I reckon. Yeah, it's a good beer substitute. I mean, yeah. it tastes like a beer, looks like a beer. Mm. Don't make you drunk like a beer. Mm. So there's a brand new scale then. This is the non-alcoholic beer scale. Uh, you have to mark it out 100. <coughs> Go for it. I would give it a 65. 65? You're so generous. Would you think you'd revisit that mark if we get ones that are better? Yeah, I've got, at the moment I've got no frame of reference. So, okay. you know, maybe if we try a few more, <coughs> that might be... So like... when you say 65, are you pitching it against beer? Pitching it against my taste. Yeah, I'm sticking with my 65. Okay. I'm not trying so. to sway you. I'm just trying to, you know, understand how your mind works. No, it takes a lot longer. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to give it a 74. 74. Yeah. Mark. Yeah. Solid. So cheers. Cheers. Let's pour some more. Pour some more. <laughs> <laughs> 